What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and today we're going to go through a Google Ads case study for an insulation contractor who does, um, <clears throat> I think, mostly residential, <clears throat> excuse me, mostly residential um, insulation in uh, walls, garages, houses, all that stuff. And uh, it, as always, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, if you're a new viewer, make sure you subscribe and check out the links in the description. We have tons of free content in there for you guys. So what you're looking at right now is inside of this Google Ads account last 30 days. They've paused right now, but we're going to kind of go through the statistics for the last 30 days. <clears throat> so they've gotten 3,486 impressions, 115 clicks, 3.3% click-through rate. The average cost per click is $9.61, which is a little higher than I thought it would be for insulation, but apparently this is a very um, aggressive space to be in. This is one of our, I think this is only like a third or fourth guy we ever had in insulation. But um, conversion rate was pretty decent, considering they only ran for 30 days and the pause for right now. Total cost for the last 30 days, 1,105, 19 total leads at a cost per lead of $58, and the conversion rate 16.52%, which is not great, but we only ran for 30 days right now, so we haven't really had time to dial that in, but not a bad start. So if we go into the campaign, you see the ad groups here. Attic insulation, blown-in insulation, commercial insulation, uh, fiberglass, and then our company contractor removal, and then the geolocation. They're in, uh, serving Los Angeles, so there's a geo ad group there. You can tell we we're running maximized clicks. Or I'm sorry, maximized conversions was the bidding strategy we we're running, and we did start with maximized clicks first, and then we flipped it over. So these guys have only ran. Let me see. Don't even think it's been two months. Started the campaign on June 22nd. Today's July 30th. So pretty new campaign, just getting its feet wet. But you can see here some of these uh, ad groups that are driving all the leads. We sort by conversions. We go into keywords. You'll see here we're only running exact and phrase match keywords, and here's the keywords that are driving all the leads. And they're really basic keywords, guys. This is not complicated stuff. And the the uh, landing page we're sending the traffic to is is very basic as well. It's just the hook is to uh, call for a free quote on your installation installation or removal. So there's not really much to it. It's a very basic page, just pictures of the guy and his crew, like removing insulation and putting new insulation in stuff like that and then a couple call to actions from the people to call just to get a quote so you can see here keywords very basic very small campaign but pretty effective if we go into devices you'll see here more of the leads are coming from mobile mobile was actually converting at 17 percent and desktop was 12 percent so a good mix of leads, and if we go into the conversion actions, let me see if I can fix this for you guys. There we go. You'll see down here, we have a mix of different things going on. So call extension lead, these are calls that came directly from the call extension. And this is, this is actually, there's a couple other actions that are from a previous campaign that was running when we first started. So these are carried over from that campaign so I'm just gonna go through our actual conversion actions so call extension lead that's a uh, obviously that's a lead that comes from the call extension the campaign then we have contact form lead we've gotten two of those so that's somebody who submitted a form on the website local actions this is um, their location extension and Google Maps stuff phone call is People who went clicked the ad went to the landing page and actually just called the number that's on the landing page which is a tracking number We've gotten 13 of those. So there's a good mix of leads in here, some local action leads, and um, some uh, our campaign leads. So our campaign leads are separated, though, in the accounts. So that's why you're, you're seeing 63 total leads, and we don't have 63. I think there what they say there was 19, because uh, we're only tracking our campaign, what we have in the, uh, I'm sorry, 20. So yeah, so we're only tracking the 20 from our campaign. The rest are coming from local actions from the location extension to Google Maps and they had a previous campaign running when we started so that kind of crossed over a little bit but 20 leads <clears throat> not a bad start 
they're going to turn back on in a week or two, I believe. So we're going to get them back on again. I can, can't wait to start dialing in this landing page because I want to bump that conversion rate up to um, over to 20. Well, you can see the last seven days it started to go up 21%, but they paused midweek. So that's why the lead, the lead flow is low. But um, yeah, so we started doing a little optimization on the landing page, and that's bumped to 21%, but obviously I want to get that over 25 So that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully this um, hopefully this uh, case study was useful for you if you're in the insulation space and you want to use this kind of keywords and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, feel free. This is for you guys. If you want us to run these campaigns for you, we can just clone this and turn it on in your location and basically turn on insulation leads within the first week. So that's pretty exciting stuff. All right, guys, that's all I got. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the description. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.